Congressman Bradley Byrne is officially a sticker-wearing anti-toll crusader. Today, Byrne announcing he is working on an alternative plan to submit to the governor. NBC 15's Cassie Fambro spoke to Congressman Byrne today to get details on that new plan. Cassie? Well, his words were that it would be sooner rather than later when it's done, and certainly by that October meeting. Byrne held two town meetings today in southern Alabama. The anti-toll crew led by Jim Ziegler showed up in force. We can show the governor how to pay for a basic bridge. We don't need a Taj Mahal bridge, but a basic bridge, uh, she can pay for it without a toll. Citizens told Byrne they feel the proposed $6 toll is being forced upon them. This is a huge project. There isn't option A, B, C, and D. The anti-toll coalition came outfitted in no-toll decals, stickers, and signs, including Congressman Byrne. We should not toll this project. People want to know why the bridge is so expensive in the first place. Aldod has gone from $800 million to how many billion have they gone to? Byrne believes the project just grew too big for its bridges. And a large part of that is because they decided to replace the spans across the bay. There is no federal requirement for them to replace those spans. Byrne is going back to the drawing board himself. We're going to put together a proposal for her. She's asked for it, and I think we should give her that. He wants to create a plan for the bridge that sets a statewide tone against tolling. Because there is talk that they're going to toll other projects around the state, which I can tell you from travel around Alabama hadn't gone over very well. Byrne, who is running for state senate, hasn't spoken directly to the governor yet about tolls. Only thing I would ask for her is for her to independently review it and look at it with the eyes of somebody that lives down there, that lives on one side of the bay and works on the other. Now, while he hasn't spoken to Ivy directly, he has been in contact with her chief of staff, Joe Bonner, and he hopes to work with him to get this before her as soon as possible. For now, live in Mobile, Cassie Fambro, NBC 15 News.